Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to talk about Flatpak. Flatpak is a package format. Uh, it is different from the packages that you would download from the uh, repositories of your distribution. Uh, because if you download something from your, uh, the repository of your distribution, you download the um, application itself and of course the package managers download the uh, dependencies as well. But a package like Flatpak contains the application itself and all its uh, dependencies. Uh, and it has advantages. Uh, for example, you do not have to worry about uh, dependencies, uh, about different versions of the dependencies, about uh, broken dependencies, incompatibilities, and so on. Because, especially if you use PPAs, you can really um, face a problem when, for example, a dependency is broken. This is what has happened to me uh, on Linux Mint that, for example, I installed the Keepers XC application from the PPA, because as far as I know, this is the only way, uh, other than, of course, Flatpak, to install the Keepers XC application in uh, Linux Mint. So I installed it uh, from the PPA, and after a certain update, it didn't work anymore and I got the error message that some dependency is broken or something like that. So it can really happen, it has, ha it has happened to me. And that's why I like the idea that, uh, that a package contains everything, not only the application itself, but uh, every dependency it needs to run. And you don't have to worry worry about uh, anything. Actually, you, you just download the application, install it, and you're good to go. And uh, the thing I especially like about Linux Mint is that flat pack packages are available by default in the software manager. Let's see. As you see, this is the flat uh, Flatpak repository, FlatHub, and here there are a lot of a lot of useful applications, a lot of great applications. As you see, I have installed OBS Studio, Keepers XC. Uh, there is Older City. There is there is there is there is. For example, Kdal Live, GIMP, a nice uh, graphical YouTube downloader, uh, a ton of GNOME applications, Ring, you know, it's great, Skype, Spotify, a lot of very useful applications. This should be Handbrake, yeah, Handbrake, yeah, cool. And the other advantage of uh, Flatpak, and not only Flatpak, but also Snappy and uh, AppImage, that uh, if you if you are you if you use uh, such packages, you can have always the most up-to-date version of the software, because especially in the case of Linux Mint because it's based on the long-term support version of Ubuntu, although Linux Mint has its own repositories, the packages are going to be mm, old. I don't think it would be a problem for most users, but if you, if you need the latest version, or you just want to have the latest version, because you are like me, that you like to have the latest version, if you, even if you don't need it, then, and if you are, and if you are not using a rolling distribution like Arch, then you can use Flatpak or Snappy or AppImage, 
Of course, the advantage with uh, Flatpak and Snappy is that you can uh, update your packages. If you use App Image, there is no update mechanism, so you have to visit the website where you download it this uh, app image from and you have to check if there is a newer version if there is then you have to uh, download it and and uh, you can run it because you don't need to install an app image it, it, it just runs by itself without installation uh, but there is a difference between uh, Flatpak and Snappy. So Snappy is the... It's like Flatpa uh, Flatpak, but it's, it, it's um, controlled by Canonical. Uh, and the Snappy um, package repository is... It's a uh, centralized system. So there is one central repository controlled by Canonical for snappy packages and uh, I don't like this system because I generally don't like if something is centralized and 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 controlled by one company uh, even if it's canonical and the good thing about flatpak is that uh, flatpak has a federated structure or architecture, how should I say it? Uh, so there, there can be a lot of different uh, repositories uh, controlled by different people or companies or whatever. So I like the uh, federated nature of Flatpak a lot more than the centralized nature of Snappy. But as far as uh, the end user go goes, uh, it doesn't matter if you are just uh, someone who wants to use a package like this it won't matter for you if, if the repository is, is centralized or, or federated at least I don't think so but I just like the idea that something is federated and not centralized uh, and also in Linux Mint f uh, flat hub is um, by default integrated of course you can install flat hub in any Linux distribution and of course you can install and manage your Flatpak applications through the common line. And this is what I prefer. But that's the nice thing, thing about Cinnamon, that if you want to, you can do everything in this uh, graphical interface. If you want to, you can do everything in the common line. So that's just so great. Okay, let's have a look at it. Flatpak. There are a lot of options and commands and uh, stuff. And the interesting thing about Flatpak is, or Flathub, is that if you want to install in an application, it's not enough to know that it's called, for example, VLC. Uh, and there is one very important thing if you want to install applications you want to have a look at which applications are available or the first step is actually which repository is installed on your system and this you can mm, check with this command flatpak uh, remote as you see the repository installed on my system is FlatHub. Okay, what's in FlatHub? Well, what are the applications available to download, to install? Uh, Flatpak. Mm, how is it? Remote list or something like that. Remote minus ls. Remote minus ls. And it takes some time because there are a lot of, a ton of applications. And you see the applications have a little bit longer name than usual. So, if you 
if you are looking for a specific software it is and if you want to check if it's available through FlatHub it's much easier to grab this whole mess and don't forget Linux is case sensitive here it is so let's try to install this package I'm not going to install it but let's see how it would work flat pack and you need the whole thing Ah, and here's the catch. Look at this error. Unknown command. Ah, sorry. I meant this. So, error remote and ref must be specified. So, we not only have to specify ref, which is the this long name of the application, like org.videoland.vrc, but also the remote, which is in our case hmm, flat hub. Okay, and now it's it wants to download a runtime required for this uh, package to run. And I don't want to install it because I have al already, because Linux Mint comes with uh, VRC installed, I think. Does it come with VRC? Yeah. I don't need to install it. So, I say no. Alright, what else? What else do we need to know? You can, I yeah, this is the nice thing, you can update the applications. Ah, you can list what you have installed. Yes, yes, yes. Flatpak list. These are the applications and the runtimes that are installed. You know, I'm not an, an expert on this, but I think the actually the runtimes are uh, the runtime runtimes contain the dependencies maybe or I don't know Google knows everything so if you want to know just look it up flat pack uh, what did I want to do uh, yeah and for example you can flat pack update and you can specify now nah, if just simply flat pack update Looking for updates, no updates. It would be nice if it if it uh, returned also something like there are no updates available. But whatever. Apparently there are no updates for these applications. Uh, what did I want to show you? There is an information or info parameter somewhere. Info. You can get info about applications that you have installed. Flatpak info. Mm. Let's check out OBS. Come on. Okay, and as you see, OBS is 32.5 megabytes big. So this is, apparently this is the application itself. Let's have a look at one of the runtimes. For example, the org.kd.platform 5.10. Because there is a disadvantage of using something like Flatpak or Snappy. Or maybe AppImage. Mm. And this is a very good way to show it. Ah, I see. I see, I see. Of course, there are 
multiple KDE platform runtimes installed. So, okay, just have a look at this. I think this runtime is required either by yeah, it's it's required either by uh, OBS or Keepas XC. But you know, it's 1.6 gigabytes big. And this is the disadvantage of using Flatpak or something like this. That if you. So the advantage is that all the dependencies are included. But the disadvantage is that you really have to download all the dependencies even if they are already installed on your system. So if you if you've got a small SSD on your laptop or in your desktop or you just really don't have much space on your hard drive, this is not a good idea to use flatback or packages like this. Because just to run now I assume that for Keepers XC uh, you need this one. Let's just assume it. I don't know it for sure. But Let's just assume it and make an example out of it. Just to run a 32.5 megabytes uh, application, you have to download a runtime that is 1.6 gigabytes big. So this is the drawback. But I think today in 2018, most or yeah, I think that most people has at least. 255 gigabytes uh, hard drive or maybe most people already have SSD so I think if you have a 256 gigabyte SSD you can install a few applications like this if, if you install all of the applications available it, <laughs> it would consume a lot of space so I think uh, Flatpak, Snappy and AppImage is good if you need applications that tend to have um, dependency problems on your distribution or or if it, it just have to run and you cannot allow <coughs> an application to, to, su to stop functioning because of some dependency problems. Then it's a good idea to install a Flatpak package or Snappy or AppImage. Uh, and also, I have uh, heard cases that, for example, Kdenlive K uh, um, Kdenlive uh, has problems if you or can have dependency problems if you install it just from the repository. But if you install it with a uh, as a flat pack or snappy or app image or something like this, of course you don't have uh, problems. So flat pack has its advantages and disadvantages. I think that uh, repositories won't go anyway anytime soon. They won't go away because they are such an integral part of uh, of the distributions and also you know if it's possible I install uh, software from the repository I only install something uh, from flat hub or something like that if if you know I need this application to work if I have heard that this application may have uh, or may run into dependency problems uh, or in this case or, or, I, or I need the latest version and it's not in the repository of my uh, distribution. In this case I have installed uh, Keepers XC from FlatHub because um, I have had this dependency problem after ins installing it from the PPA. Mm, and and I actually I didn't really have to install OBS from FlatHub, but I just thought why not? Let's try it out. 
and I have enough space on my hard drive so it's not a concern for me okay what else did I want to show you mm -hmm. you can do a lot of things here so to sum up the thing I like about flat pack uh, that that the repository structure is uh, decentralized. It's it's federated. Mm, I like this idea a lot, and also I like that you can have the latest applications, and you can update from the command line. And uh, yeah, do you you won't run into dependency problems. The only drawback really is that in order to run a little 30 max application you in some cases you have to download a, a, a runtime that is bigger than one gigabyte. So just you just have to keep this drawback in mind. Uh, but I think Flatpak is great. I'm sure Snappy is also great and AppImage is also great, but as I have said, I the thing I like about Flatpak is that I can update the applications, I can manage the applications, I can manage the removes from the command line, and also the repository system is is uh, federated. All right, I think that was it for today. Thanks for watching, see you next time, goodbye.